So we're talking about ghosting, and in this bracketed set of three images here, there's a couple cars, and I'll open an example for you. Let me resize this so you can see a little bit better. So you can see these two cars here, this one specifically, and this car here. They're both in motion, so when we took the bracketed set of images, what we end up with is the car in a different place in all three images, which leads to what we call ghosting for obvious reasons. It kind of looks like a ghost. So the way we deal with that, um, there's several ways to deal with it, but my, my preferred method of dealing with that is via Photomatix Pro, which just happens to be my favorite uh, HDR software. So we just select our three bracketed images, and I'm gonna drag them right on top of the icon and let go. And when we get to this screen, there's a bunch of options. This is the pre-processing option screen. And what I'm going to select in this case is remove ghosts. Now, Photomatix gives us two different options. We can do this uh, with selective deghosting, which is what they recommend. It's kind of like a semi-manual or semi-automatic mode. Um, and the next method is automatic, which is self-explanatory. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and select automatic. I would normally reduce the noise. I would check this. I would also uh, check this to reduce chromatic aberrations. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to move forward with the ghosting. And you can see what it's doing now is it's trying to figure out where it thinks that that car or those cars should be in this case um, and remove the ghosting effect that we see. Um, so it's almost set and we have our image and it looks like Photomatix did a pretty good job. I'm going to move this around and make this a little bit bigger so we can see. And you can see here, it looks like the ghosting has been completely removed. We look at our loop and it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see any ghosting in this instance. And I'm going to look at this other image here, or this other car I should say. And the ghosting has been completely removed from that car as well. So using the automatic mm -hmm. method of Photomatix, it did a pretty good job. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the selective or semi-automatic method of deghosting with Photomatix. And again, the issue here was the motion or ghosting with these two cars here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the same set of bracketed images that I did in the first video. I'm going to drop these right on Photomatix Pro again, just as we did before. And this time I'm going to go ahead and select Remove Ghost, but instead of Automatic, we're going to choose With Selective Deghosting Tool. And again, this is basically like semi-automatic uh, is what they're getting at here. So we get our preview here, and what they're asking us to do in this two-step process is to select the areas of deghosting. Now, it's pretty hard to see these cars at this point, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. That's much better. And that'll give me a, a much better idea of where I'm going to go. So I'm just going to click and draw here with the mouse. And that's the first car. And I'm going to right click that and mark that selection as a ghosted area. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this car right over here. We're going to mark that as ghosted. So now all we've got to do is, uh, well, we could click OK to process it, but I'm actually going to preview it and see how Photomatix did. And it looks like Photomatix did a pretty good job on both of these cars. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK and see what we end up with here. All right, so let's make this a little bigger. There we go. And it looks like it did a pretty darn good job of uh, deghosting here automatically. There is a little bit of a blemish here, but other than that, it looks pretty good. And we'll take a look at this guy here. And that one looks pretty good as well, although the uh, car over here does have some ghosting. But of course, we didn't select that car. We only selected this car in this case. So that would be normal. And again, uh, if you're just joining us, what we're addressing here is ghosting, um, which is basically the motion between the three brackets of images in HDR photography. And we can see this car here is in motion, and this car here is in motion. So let's get started. We're going to grab these same three images, drop them onto the Photomatix Pro icon. 
And we're going to use the same selections as in the second video, remove ghosts uh, with selective deghosting tool. And again, we'll zoom in so we can kind of see our subject area, which is in this case these two cars. I'm going to go ahead and draw around these two cars. And I'm going to mark that as a ghosted area. And I'm going to draw around this car and mark that as a ghosted area. Now in this case, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I did last time. I'm going to go even more manual in the process. And by doing that, I'm going to right click the selected area and I'm going to set another photo for the selection. So what we're basically doing here is we're telling Photomatics, I want to decide which image we're going to use the car from, throw out the other two. So in this case, I'm going to use um, the normal or the zero exposure. And you can see that Photomatics has already selected that in this case. And I'm going to do the same thing over here and select the, the zero EV, which is our normal exposure. Um, and again, Photomatics had already guessed that. So Photomatics had done a pretty good job. But what we could do in this case, let's say for some reason we didn't like this selection, we could select another image from the bracketed set, like, uh, oh, what did we do here? So in this one, we did the uh, two over image, um, or we could do the two under image. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to the normal exposure, and we'll go ahead and process this. So here's our final image, and again, I'll move this around so we can see a little better. And again, uh, in this case, Photomatics addressed exactly what we asked it to address, which is this car right here, and this car right over here. So Photomatics did a pretty good job. That pretty much covers deghosting. Uh, there's kind of three different levels of deghosting uh, within Photomatics, and I think we've covered them all. If you have any questions, just let us know.